Hey everybody, this is Brett with Brett's Auto Reviews and today I'm gonna to be going over this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon four-door. This vehicle is very nicely equipped. It's got the leather seats, the color match fender flares, the color match hardtop, and we'll get into all of that. But the main option that this one has, if you couldn't tell, it's a little bit different from a normal Rubicon. This one has the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire group. Now that's a $3,995 option on the already pretty expensive Jeep Rubicon. Is it worth it? We'll find out right now. Grab your coffee and let's get to it. So the first thing that you're gonna notice that's different with the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire and wheel group, of course, is are the tire and wheels. So they come with the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2 LT 31570R17 C tires. Uh, the stock Rubicon has that same tire, but in a 285-70R17 inch um, size. So you also get the beadlock capable 17 inch painted alloy wheels. They are 17 by eight inches wide. Now, if you go to tiresize.com slash height dash calculator, you can get the size for this tire and the stock one, and I did that. These are 34.4 inches high, and they're 12.4 inches wide. Compare that to the stock tire, which is 32.7 inches high, and only 11.2 inches wide, which is a difference of 1.7 inches higher on this tire and 1.2 inches wider on this tire. So you gain a little bit of height from there. And then you also, with this package, you're not gonna see it on the original window sticker, but you'll see it on Jeep's website when you go to build one of these. It comes with the 35 inch suspension group. So it's gonna give your, um, We'll get into the suspension here in just a second, but basically you're getting an inch of suspension um, advantage with this tire and wheel group that Jeep doesn't put on the, the original window sticker. So it's kind of interesting, you know, you'd think that a factory lift would be something that they'd tell you about when you're looking to buy one of these, um, but it's only on the website when you go to build one of these. So we'll check that out in just a second and uh, continue on here. So what you won't find on the original window sticker of this vehicle is everything that the 35 inch tire and wheel group consists of. Um, it doesn't mention anything about the performance brakes, but this package does come with performance brakes because you have a bigger tire. So you need to be able to stop that and control that a little bit better. So the performance brakes, I don't know if you can see it, but they're kind of slotted way on the inside of the rotor there, and I'm assuming that's for heat dissipation. But they also come with larger brake pads, and you can find that information on Jeep's website when you go to build one of these. Uh, it'll tell you that you get these special uh, brakes on this one, but it won't tell you on the original window sticker. So just one thing to point out. The other thing- So I really like this shot here, because um, this gives you a good idea of the things that are different suspension-wise over the standard Rubicon for the 35 inch Extreme Recon tire group. So first off, this is your sway bar link and then your spring is obviously right there. So on a normal Rubicon, the sway bar link is six and three quarter inches long. And on this one, it is seven and three quarter inches long. So exactly one inch or longer on this one. And the springs on a normal Rubicon from the bottom to the top are 12 inches and on this one it's 13 inches. And then lastly, your axle, which goes across there on the build sheet. Now it won't tell you on the uh, sticker here, but on the uh, build sheet, it'll say that it has the Dana 44 M210 heavy duty wide tube axle. Um, and on the normal Rubicons, it just says M210 Dana 44 um, axle. So those are the main differences and for the suspension what's once again what i think is interesting is that jeep doesn't tell you that on the original window sticker they just say it's the 35 inch recon group which i'll show you in just a second and they don't really mention anything about the uh, suspension that comes with this package so i thought it was important to point that out uh, the other thing with this package is that you get the 456 gears so those gears having um a higher ratio like that improves climbing steep terrain, carrying loads, or pulling a trailer. So uh, definitely if you're 
going over rocks and climbing out mountains, you're going to want that extra gear ratio. Also helps with the uh, bigger tires on here too. So, so with the tire and wheels, um, you get that little bit of height advantage and then with the suspension you get a little bit more height advantage over the stock Rubicon and I wanted to figure out exactly you know what the difference was uh, from a stock one to this one and I measured from the floor through the rear axle straight up to the top which is the highest point on a Wrangler and I got 75 and a half inches on this one and 73 and a half inches on the stock one. So overall, from to for a total height uh, on the Wrangler, you're gonna get two extra inches over the stock Wrangler with the 35 inch Extreme Recon tire and wheel group. Finally, you get the hinge gate reinforcement here. So this is a heavy duty, pretty thick steel that bolts onto the normal hinges of the back door. And this is just to reinforce the gate because this tire is heavier and uh, it could potentially bend the gate or the hinges. Um, so they reinforce it with this, I'd say it's probably about quarter inch thick steel on there. And then the tire is also relocated. It's a little bit higher. Uh, so they had to put a kit in for that. And you also get a jack spacer somewhere in the vehicle uh, to help jack up the vehicle because it does sit higher than the normal Wrangler. So, so the last uh, aesthetic thing that you'll notice on this tire and wheel group is that you get these extra fender flares on there. And that's to accommodate for the wider tires uh, to accommodate for state laws and highway laws and everything. You gotta have the fenders over the tires uh, for that. Uh, but it also helps with not getting mud and dirt all over your Wrangler, although that's usually what people want to do with their Wrangler. So anyways, so I thought in addition to just doing the information on the Extreme um, 35 inch tire group, I'd do a full walk around for you uh, on the channel here. This is some of the stuff that I do normally at work and on my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. So you can check out that uh, web or that channel right there. Um, but I go through the whole vehicle. You'll notice that this one gives you the seven slotted grill. Jeep likes to proclaim that's because they've been on seven different continents and the only vehicle to have been on seven different continents. But uh, some people are like, called me out on YouTube. So <laughs> whatever. Anyways, that's what Jeep claims. Anyways, you get the granite crystal inserts on the grill. You also have the Jeep logo on the headlights. This one has the normal halogen headlamps. I highly recommend if you get a Wrangler, get the LED lighting group. It's, it's so worth it. But what's nice is you can always change these out for LEDs so that really doesn't detract too much from this particular Wrangler because you can always swap those out fairly easily. Under the hood we have the 3.6 liter Pentstar V6 engine. 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. It's gonna to get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. This particular Jeep has the Mopar cold air intake right there. And you get a little Jeep with the mountain terrain in the background there as well. So that's pretty cool. This one also comes with the color match or Highline fender flares which I like. I like the color match hard top as well. You also get the rock guards on the fender right here. And also, which we talked about, the extensions on the fenders for that tire and wheel group. This one just has the normal plastic bumpers. You uh, get a decent amount of room back here. This one has the premium audio group, which gives you the subwoofer, the Alpine subwoofer back here. Case for your front hard top pieces. You can take these hard tops off. I did a demo on my other channel. I'll link that video in the description below, how to take your hard top off, door hinge, removal roof and windshield bolts, plus a nice storage area back here. And uh, those seats do fold down. I'll show you that in just a second. Once again, the seven slots. I don't make this stuff up. Jeep does this on purpose. Uh, you get the JL badge back here, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna check out the original window sticker here. So here's the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything. Uh, feel free to pause it. I'm just gonna kind of stop it, show it, stop it. 
and then you can take a look at it. I'll also link this window sticker in the description below so you can take a look at it on, on the computer or phone or whatever you're on. Your optional equipment starts here. This one has leather trim, bucket seats, cold weather group, and then the Extreme. This is where I'm really amazed is that the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package, they're telling you that you're gonna pay $4,000 for this. And you're like, okay, well, what does it all give me? Tires, wheels, hinge gate reinforcement. That's the only thing it tells you that it gives you. It doesn't mention anything about the different gears. It doesn't mention anything about the performance brakes. It doesn't mention anything about the 35 inch um, suspension upgrade to this vehicle, which just amazes me. It doesn't say anything about the fender flare extensions. So a lot of stuff that you get with this package isn't mentioned. So when you go build it on Mopar's website or Jeep's website, it'll tell you all the stuff that you get with that. And three quarters of it isn't listed here, which is just kind of amazes me. Eight speed automatic transmission, 3.6 liter. Total MSRP on this one is 65835 If you want to go check out Summit's website, I'll link this vehicle in the description below that, so you can do that and check them out. Uh, go ask my guy Brock if you want to buy this one. He'll hook you up for sure. Or just let me know and I can I can get everything arranged. 3 or 36 bumper to bumper, 5 years 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon and your front crash and side crash test ratings. Um, they don't rate it. and thinking because the doors can come off and the top can come off so it's not rated for some of the other things. It's basically considered a convertible. Uh, here's the interior. You get the red dash, the 8.4 touchscreen, 8-speed auto, um, the leather trim bucket seats. These are heated, uh, has remote start, has heated steering wheel as well. And just quickly, these back seats, they can fold down. The passenger side, the whole side folds down, and you can see they go down pretty nice and flat. They got this flap here so nothing falls in between there. And uh, that's pretty much the whole walk around. So that's pretty much all I have for the Jeep Wrangler 2023 Rubicon with the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire and wheel group. Now, after going through everything, I definitely think that this wheel and tire group is worth it for $3,995. Now, if you were just anybody that walked in off the street and somebody tried to upsell you on this and all you saw on the window sticker was 35 inch tires and beadlock capable wheels and the rear gate reinforcement, you'd be like, I'm not paying four grand for just wheels and tires and a gate reinforcement, but when you really break it down and go to Jeep's website and you see exactly everything that this entails, including the performance brakes, the one inch suspension lift that's on it, uh, the wheels, the tires, the rear gate reinforcement, and uh, just the overall height difference that you get with this vehicle and the better stance, and everything's under warranty, remember that. Uh, so three or 36 bumper to bumper, that covers anything that Jeep puts on from the factory. So I definitely would say that this tire and wheel group is worth it and um, you probably couldn't do it cheaper if you were gonna put a lift on it, change the brakes out, and put different wheels and tires you know, from the factory, like aftermarket. I don't think you could do it cheaper than you can get it from the factory on this particular Jeep Wrangler. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel, uh, which is Brett's Auto Reviews. And hopefully you're gonna be posting stuff once a week, once every two weeks. And I uh, hope everybody out there enjoys it. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna get some more coffee. <sighs> Doing more takes, I'm gonna have to go get some more coffee.